Oh, oh it is you. Explain yourself. What are you planning to do? I should have known you were on me. I'd warned you something bad will happen at school. Oh, something bad did happen, alright. It was you that something bad has happened. Peppa and I saw what you did. You captured Jeffy. Oink. I agree. We saw everything. News has spread it and I heard police are coming after you. What did you do to Jeffy? And what are your true intentions? Confronting me, I see. Bold move, especially for children like you. Very well. I'll tell you. You see, Jeffy wasn't the only victim I caught. That purple lady, who I heard was called Fantina, was also dumb enough to try and join that so-called show. So, I caught them and consumed their data. I then sent their corrupted bodies somewhere where I'm hoping no one will find them. But I guess no one else is dumb enough to blindly approach here at school. And since awareness has spread across town, it made my progress to my goal a lot harder. So, I had to find some prey without getting caught and consume enough power. Enough power for what? To corrupt the entire school, then the town, and then the entire world, having it under my rule. And to show everyone what it feels to be corrupted, like me. So that's why you're doing this, you monster? What if you killed them? I have no intention of killing anyone. Besides, when I corrupt my victims, I put their bodies into an interval, corrupt and sleep and send them into another dimension I created. Well, whatever you're up to, you won't succeed. I know Bounty will keep the rest of the students safe while Dakota, the police, and the others will find a way to stop you. I agree. And as former victims of grounded videos and troublemakers, perhaps we can help the heroes as well. Huh? And how can you three stop me? You're all children. Do you all know what I'm capable of? I can simply consume all your data like a child consuming his chocolate bar. Caillou. Caillou, Dora, Pepit, get out of there. Dad. Dad. All of you, run, go to safety. We'll hold him off. Warn your family members too. No. Wait. No, it's too late. Don't worry about us. We know you all can do this. Caillou, I love you. And I love you, Pepper. We believe in you all. No, this can't be happening. Let's get out of here. All of you, follow me. Oh no. We're too late. Null has captured more victims and escaped. Those two dads are so heroic, willing to use themselves as bait to save Dora, Caillou, and Peppa. I hope they get to safety in time, but I can't believe we arrived at bad timing. And what Menaka mentioned, if Null captures more people, he'll consume more data to corrupt everything. This is bad. We must go and warn the others. Little vampire. Thank you for guiding us. But now, you must get to safety for the evening. Don't worry. We'll make sure you and the others come back to hear school safely away. Those poor souls. I can't believe that creature has striked again. I wish I could help, but even though I'm a vampire, he might corrupt me as well. I'm going home. There you go Jeffy, we know you're still around. But hang in there, we'll get you out eventually. And I hope Jacob and his cast find they will Fancy sweep you. We just need to wait for the materials so Monica can make a few doses of antidote, and we'll be sure to send one to Jacob. Null has tried once again. Oh no, what happened? He caught two more victims, Boris and Daddy Pink. It looked like they saved Dora, Peppa, and Caillou from Null and I saw Yasmin guiding them to safety. He tried to capture the children for data. Unforgettable. Thankfully, I got the coordinates to their locations, but we used up our energy to find Jeffy. The school is empty now, so I'll have the FLPD, Revan, and Night Fist find them. And I'll need you too and Security Guard Unit 20 to help me make the antidote. Understood. We'll make sure the antidote is made as soon as possible. For now, we're waiting on Security Guard Unit 20 with the materials, plus the alternate data you have. Right. Plus, I fear Nell will strike again tomorrow. When that time comes, let's hurry to hear school when Baldi gets ready for his next episode. The next day. 
sorry we're late. We've talked with Audrey and Nikki about the incident and that some grand reopening is about to happen in the future. All good. Baldy hasn't entered his school yet, and we're still waiting for Noel to show up. The good news is that we found Boris and Daddy Pig in the forest and put them in the hospital where Jeffy is at. And I already gave Monica the materials she needs for the antidote. Plus the uranium for a capsule in case of an emergency. The problem, however, is that the progress is more difficult than I would imagine. I may be a good coder, but I'll need help from professionals to make the antidote. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find some people. As much as we want to hunt down Noel, the best thing we can do now is watch and wait until he tries to strike again. Hey, I see Baldy. It looks like it's time. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. Welcome back to my show. Last time, Little Bill got eliminated, and then the contestants did a school-related wrestling challenge. The entire Griff and Griefers lose. The Kitty Kaboomers were ahead, until Penny and Johnny claimed their wins, making the smallest team, the Smooth Movers, win. So the Kitty Kaboomers and Griff and Griefers lose, making them up for elimination. Now, who will win, and who will lose? Find out right now as you are watching. Baldi's Character Elimination Wow, Philly, I've got to meet Timmy someday. Hey, V, what's wrong? You look like a lost puppy. There was something I witnessed yesterday, and it's been bothering me a lot. What? Is it because we lost? You shouldn't be worried. You have immunity. That's not what I'm worried about. There was something horrifying I saw after I left the school yesterday. Oh, hold that thought, V. Baldi's here. Oh, hey there, playtime. What brings you here? I'm just hanging out here. Fair enough. Sorry to keep you all waiting. The principal and I saw some folks standing near the school. We believe they're on a watch for that creature. We assume they're making sure we're safe. Anyways, Kitty Kaboomers and Griff and Griefers, you two lost. So let's go reveal the votes. Okay, as always, you get an energy flavored zesty bar if you're safe. V has immunity, so she's automatically safe. Um. Yay. Charlie, you only got one vote. You're safe. Good deal. Kira is the next one safe at three votes. Ah, uh, yeah, the Kira Rammer remains. Followed up by Gumball with four votes. At least I'm not at the bottom two this time. Well, shucks. It seems like I'm about to be at the bottom two again. Not today, Stewie. You're the next one safe at six votes. Oh, good. Wait a second. Phillips at the bottom too? No, not my best friend. Pista. Oh no, if I'm out, then I... Yes, Leo. We get it. You can't win for Caillou. Calm down, Stewie. Anyway, Philip and Leo, it's down between you two. So, let's not waste any more time. The last one safe at seven votes is... Philip. The mama. Phew. I'm sorry, Leo, but you are eliminated at 22 votes. You've had done very well, but now you're cut from the competition. Ah, Pickles. Caillou, I'm so sorry. I didn't make it. I've come this far, and now I'm gone. I've already called your mom, so she should be on her way. Please wait for her inside the school entrance. Okay. I guess I'll get going now. See you later, Leo. Okay, so, I'd like to make an announcement. But first, can I have someone come get Penny and Johnny? I'll go get them. Thank you, Kira. Smooth movers, Baldy wants you two to come to his office. He's got an announcement to make. Oh, okay, let's go, Johnny. Dora, are you sure about this? Trust me, as long as we keep a distance. We should be fine. I want to see what happens next and see what Noel's up to. Besides, we're also protected, so no way Noel can get to us. I guess. But don't forget our dads got captured by Noel to save us. Good thing Monica said they're still alive and that the antidote to their corrupt bodies is on the way, so you'll get your dads back in no time. Wow, 
I never knew children can be ever more bold. Dodo sure is a brave one, eager to stand up to that weird creature. Um, I guess, but don't forget, he's dangerous. Say, Dodo, what's Darlene? Um, well... Huh? What's this? Yeah. Look, Link. Someone's coming out of the school. Wait. Oh no. It's Leo. He got eliminated. Hi, Leo. You doing okay? Yes, Mom. Soon. I'd like to meet with Caillou and apologize. I couldn't win for him. Oh no. Leo, get out of there. Run. Huh, Caillou? What are you doing here? Behind you, Leo. Get out of there. No. Uh-oh. Leave him alone. No, he got my mom. Why? Oh, Caillou, I'm so sorry. I got eliminated. And now I lost my mom in the game. Leo. You did your best, and he's done the same thing to my dad, Peppa's dad, Jeffy, and Fantina. But we don't have time to mourn. We need to evacuate. Caillou's right. Everyone, follow the babysitters to safety. I believe I have consumed enough data. Enough data to corrupt this school and the fools within. Then I'll consume even more data to take over the entire world. Ha 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 ha. This is bad. With enough data, no will corrupt the school. Here school is now too dangerous, so we need to barge in, rescue everyone, and relocate to where Baldi will host at. Luckily, I can open up the portal to allow everyone to escape the corruption, including us. Then we better not waste any time and get moving. Their lives are in our hands. We'll be right behind you. All right, everyone. As you all know, we have reached our final eight, which is the halfway mark. Even though we started with 15 until V joined the game, because we've reached the half amount of contestants left, here's what's going to happen. The teams are officially breaking up, so now all of you are on your own. Well, I guess this means my leadership has come to a close. I'll try my best. It was fun while it lasted. Kira, we'll still work together, right? Of course, Alliance. You and me, Oiwa, with your brains and my brawn, we shall make it into the final two. Well Johnny, it's been fun working with you. I agree, but you better watch out, because I'm going to win the 10 grand. Oh, it is on. Like Donkey Kong. Oof, I kept hearing that from 9 Volt. Yes, for the rest of this season, only one person will win while everyone else is up for elimination. To the eight of you, congrats on making it to the merge. By the way, V... What were you going to say that's worrying you? Well, it happened when I heard an eerie sound with my vampire hearing, so, I followed the sound waves and spotted that odd creature with a red shirt capturing a big pig and a man in a blue hoodie. It must have been the same incident Jeffy got in. Wait, you did? You saw that thing capture more people? Yes, I saw that incident as I arrived at the scene, and Riven and Nightfist weren't able to stop that thing in time. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. V, what else did you see? Who was there during the incident? Well, I saw Caillou, Peppa, and Dora. Caillou and Peppa tried to rush to two of that thing's victims, but Dora stopped them, knowing it's too late. And when you mention about a big pig and a guy in a green hoodie, could that be Caillou and Peppa's dad? That thing's capturing their parents now. Horrible. And worse, I heard that same noise just now. I heard that he captured another victim. What? Don't tell me it was Leo. I heard his voice, and he mentioned it was his mom who got caught. Thank goodness Leo's okay, but poor Leo's mom. Yikes, I'm fearing this situation is getting worse. V, can you still hear him? V, what's wrong? Uh-oh, this is not good. What do you mean? The creature, it's in the schoolhouse. Are you serious? Null is inside. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Did the power go out? I'm scared. 
No, I don't think it's just that. This school, it's beginning to feel weird, feeling glitchy. Attention, Attention everyone. everyone. I ask that you, you all remain, remain calm. calm. I was told, I was told that, that no is causing, causing chaos, chaos, at, chaos at, the at the school. But don't, but worry. don't worry. Help has, Help arrived. has arrived. Please wait Please for, wait further, for instructions. further instructions. You heard the principal, everyone. Let us all wait here until help has arrived in my office. Pardon us. Oh, thank goodness. All of you are okay? Hey, it's the grand host, Dakota, and his lover Tiffany. But who is that woman with the reddish brown hair and ponytail? My name is Monica. And I know that all of you are confused and scared because of what's happening right now. So, let me explain. I'm sure you all know about that creature. He is known as Null, a corrupted file and an invisible entity. And from what we've all learned, Null captured Jeffy, Fontina, and now Boris, Daddy Pig, and Leo's mom. And as Null captured them, he consumed their data and sent their sleeping, corrupted bodies somewhere hidden. However, we've managed to find them all, except Leo's mom. At first, I thought Balti would host a simple, straightforward elimination show in peace, but when I saw Null lingering around, I knew something fishy was going on. Then, I saw Null talking with Dora, telling her he wants the show to be destroyed. We knew he was onto something else, so I took a picture and tossed the pic in the playground. And since Null caught Jeffy, news has spreaded and we had to get the FLPD involved. We even had Revan and Night Fist join. And we found Jeffy in the forest and put his corrupted body in the hospital. Revan and Night Fist also found Boris and Daddy Pig, and put them where I just mentioned. We'll find Leo's mom later, but we won't find Fontina since she was in Jacob's show. So her body is at the island Jacob is hosting his show at. A man. That's terrible. So, what is Null planning on? Because he consumed enough power, Null will corrupt this school, and then all of you to absorb your data to strengthen him, and eventually take over the world. He consumed data from innocent people for nutrients and selfish desires? Unforgettable. That guy is a total psycho. He won't be getting away with this. And because this is happening, unfortunately, here school is now too dangerous for you to host your show at. But where will I continue my show where everyone will be safe? Don't worry. I'll open up a portal where it will be your new, temporary location to host at until here school is back to normal. But now, we need to get out of here. He's corrupting this school right now. I'll go open up a portal at once. Okay, you heard Monica everyone. Get to the portal now. You can't escape from me. What? Where did the portal go? Shoot. Null must have relocated the portal with his corruption. Wait, he did. I can hear the portal. I think it's at the principal's office. Think you can lead the way V? Your vampire hearing seems super useful. Leave it to me. Let's go distract Null as we allow the students to escape. Just as long as no one gets hurt. Stop. Prepare to face my katana of justice. He relocated the portal at the stage auditorium. Hey, over here, you freak. I'm not surprised he did that again. It's at the cafeteria now. We're still making progress. It's at the playground now. Make haste. And why food, huh? Which one should I go for? The playful cheerleader from Honey Clap? Or the Wellory and a Club press from Doki Doki Literature Club? How about both? Alright. That's everyone. They are all safe. All is left is just us. Let's hurry to the portal. Not so fast, you idiot. Did you all think you can keep making a fool out of me and escape? No, 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 no. You see, I can still keep you all trapped in one ring, but I'd rather consume your data. That's what you think. Not on our watch. Night Fist and I will take you down. No. You can't. With the amount of data he consumed, he's too dangerous and powerful now. 
You won't land a scratch on him and he'll consume you too as well. Then I guess we have no choice but to escape. But how will we since we fled and Null will keep toying around with us and consume us all? Ah, uh, hey, stop that. Stupid robot. Oh my god, security guard unit 20. No. No. I'll hold him off. But I don't think I can any longer. All of you need to evacuate. Get out of here. Now. I guess we have no choice Revan. Let's bounce. We can kick Knowles but later. Your reign won't last forever now. Mark my words. Let's go everyone. Then we better take our chance to escape as well. Let's go. But what about security guard unit 20? He's letting us escape. Come on. Whoa, what is this place? Is that a school? Yes. This is my school. Welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. Wow, that's impressive, Monica. Impressed? Well, until your school is back to normal, you will be hosting your show here from now on. We should be far from here, school, so no won't be able to reach us. For now. But, as long as he doesn't consume any more data, you and your contestants should be safe here. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And of course, sorry, Netsuki, Andrew will look after you as well, so you can talk to them too. Monica. You are too kind. You can't tell how grateful I am for you saving us and keeping us safe so we can run this show in peace. Anyway, I can repay you for everything? That won't be necessary. You just worry about your show, and we'll take care of everything else. Oh man, I can't believe security guard unit 20 sacrificed himself to save us all, and Null destroyed him. Why? He was my friend since middle school. I know, I'm sad too. But he had to do what's best. I don't think there was any other way. Besides, there's a chance we can repair him, or even rebuild him. Menika gave us the coordinates for the location of Leo's mom. She also mentioned that once the antidote is made and used on the corrupted bodies, it'll also erase the old data no consumed, making him weaker and more vulnerable. Perhaps if all the victims are fully restored, this will be our chance to destroy him at all. Nell may have won this battle, but he won't win the war. For now, let's go find Leo's mom, let Manika work on the antidote, and save the show and the world. I think that's what Security Guard Unit 20 would have wanted. So, don't stand there and be sad. Bali and the students' lives are still in our hands. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Contestants, I'm deeply sorry you all had to Bolly, go through all this. this wasn't your fault. That bully Mel had to come and ruin everything. Besides. We would have been Null's next meal if it wasn't for Monica. She saved us all. Don't forget to at least give some credit to V. She guided us to different locations when Null was messing with the portal. Yeah, thank you V. Don't mention it. Well, what matters is that all of you are safe, and I hope the eliminated contestants are okay, especially Jeffy. Because all of this has happened, there is no challenge today. Nobody's up for elimination. Instead. All of you will be up for voting to win a prize. It's like the elimination, but the one who gets the most votes wins a prize. There is no elimination this time. Viewers, vote for who should win the prize. Whoever gets the most votes gets, well you know, a prize. And do suggest a school-related challenge. Next episode comes out when so. Hi everyone. Monica here. Before this video ends, I've got something to say. I added an extra feature in the Google Forms. It's for you to vote for who to win immunity. And whoever has the most votes in that feature will win the challenge, therefore winning immunity. That's all I want to say. So, start voting as I continue with the antidote. Hey Monica, I heard that you said the antidote would be hard to make and that you'll need help from geniuses. Yes. What about it? Maybe my sisters can help. They're geniuses. They even have their own lab at my home. Oh. Is that so? <laughs>